everybody now is saying shower, shower, thank you for the showers. So this is a happy day for us in Salt River. We have been invited here today by the residents. This is not us putting it on. The residents have said, come MP, come mayor. We want to say thank you to you. Um, I am overjoyed. Um, I am grateful, particularly because Salt River has been known for a long time to be a PMP enclave. And during the election, um, you had some persons telling me that I can't come here, I can't go into the homes, and that I would never ever fulfill the commitment that was made to bring water to the homes. We said we would do it in two phases. One, have a standpipe that would give people immediate water. What was happening, you had the naysayers saying we're carrying them back to the 1960s. Well, the people were very, very, very thankful for it. Phase two was to get the water through the pipe to the homes. And today we can say that that has been completed. Everybody now is saying, shower, shower, thank you for the showers. <laughs> and so, you know, we will continue the good work. There's more to be done. This is going to be now a catalyst for myself and the mayor to put more effort to build up the infrastructure so that Salt River can become a place of economic power where people can come here and enjoy tourist activities and we can see all our young people here employed and we can have everybody in their home saying that they are comfortable and they're able to have economic independence and take care of themselves that's what we want right so the water is a first step and there's much more for us to do 65 years ago when this Brazilita settlement was developed for sugar workers. They didn't have any water here. There were no water pipes. All they had was the irrigation canal that run from Salt River Pump House to Monimosa. And that's where people used to extract water from the irrigation canal. To the their farming, you see a lot of trees here, a lot of fruit trees and so on. But they planted, they made use of that. But they had to buy drinking water. And water for domestic purposes. So I decided when I became councillor that I would not retire until I got back water into Mitchell Town and get water for the first time in history in South Africa. So I was happy when Dr. Corres Chang placed me on the Rural Water Supply Board in 2008. And so immediately, that very same weekend, I did a tour with one of your engineers trying to get a new source of water this time, not from Kempsey, because that was inadequate, but from Hayes, the Communist Street Pump. And so we did a tour and I showed them exactly all the problems that we're having in the Rocky Point Division and this era. And I said that we need to do a project right now. And we did a project. However, the estimate was huge, so we did it in phases. I know Salt River would be at the end because of how the pipeline were run. We had to deal with the larger population first. So we started with the Town in 2011, and then the government changed, and I was pushed off the board, of course. And then I came back on to the board when the government came back in office in 2016. So I continued the project. So what I did, I did um, Portland Cottage. I put in a new pumping station, which I'll take you there sometime. And we built a tank at the Shear Ice Housing Scheme, which is elevated 60 feet above the sea level as well as replaced all the pipelines in Rocky Point, Portland Cottage, and run new pipelines into the streets that didn't have any. We also put in a new trunk main from into Mitchell Town and to South River, um, because we knew that's where we wanted to come, eh? right here. So we are here today to celebrate. First time in history after 65 years, water coming to the community of Salt River. We have been plagued with this water problem ever since I was born until now. And I did not know that I would live to see that water coming to Salt River. But it is here and I'm here to celebrate because I'm happy for it. Plus, majority of people overseas from Salt River it's one of the major problems why they don't want to come back and stay here because of the water problem. Now, if you look on my Facebook page, everybody is happy 
know that water has been salt over. And I really, I can say it loud and clear. People might not like it, but Councillor Maraj is very instrumental in getting the water here. We have our mineral bath there, which the parish council, the municipal corporation under the mayor has been putting heavy work into. Um, I have met with the Minister of Tourism and the intention is to make sure that now that we have water and we will have more infrastructural development, we are going to chart a course for the entire south coastline from Salzburg going down into Mitchelltown, into Portland Cottage, into Rocky Point. All of those places are prime places for tourism because it is only 20, 30 minutes from Kingston and you have Manchester and you have the rest of Clarendon that wants a place where they can come and feel comfortable and feel safe. So we are working hard to build up infrastructure, to get jobs to the youngsters and to make this the safe space for Jamaica to come and enjoy. I know it's a long way off and people will say it can't happen but they said so about the water and they're now turning on water in the home. So go and have a good shower.